The faint smell of burning scrub oak coming from my neighbor's wood stove paints the air as I visit my story tree. The story tree lives in my backyard with its branches going in every direction. On warmer days, I sit under it with my son and tell him stories, family tales, history, legends. In this tree, voices of ancestors whistle through the twigs, disguised as the wind, only talking to those who really care to listen. Taking walks in the woods, a part of my childhood memories, the walks I took with my godfather, for some reason, my father was never one for walking in the woods. My father taught me the trails and back roads from a truck. But that's another story. I've learned that you can see more taking these walks. Learn more. Hear more. The trees have names and personalities. Unlike the dreams of Sigmund Freud, the woods were always a fun place to be, a safe place. Traveling at night, I walked in the woods, feeling safe. To my friends and I, the woods were our playground, trails, adventures, paradise, when the opposite sex began to appeal to us. A place of meditation in the woods. The escape, the woods, a swirling moment of freedom. I remember when this sidewalk was just woods, as it was for my father and his father, and so on. I guess they consider it progress when what were dirt trails to my father became paved roads to me. Dirt trails left only to live on as memories and stories. So I will tell these stories to my son, hoping one day he may tell them to his child. And these stories will continue, as this path is a reminder that these woods may one day disappear, living only as a memory and words, words disguised as wind whipping through the twigs of trees that are no longer there.